Hi, this is Dan with StarViews.com, and today we're going to review the ASCM TV product, the Perfect Brownie Pan. Uh, what you see in the pan, we're going to show you what we get. What you get in the kit, you have the pan, you have the bottom liner. Now these separate, and I'll show you why in a minute. Then you have the divider, and this is what makes the pan. So after you pour the brownie batter into the bottom of the pan, you then just place the divider in, and what that does is gives you individual brownie pieces. You can also use this to make, you know, sheet cookies and cakes. Now this cooling rack, after you get the brownies out of the oven, we're going to show you that in a minute, take the divider out, and then when you place it onto this rack, what it does is it drops the pan down, and then you have the bottom, which is going to have all your brownie pieces on it, and you can use that as a serving tray. In a minute, we're going to mix up this Ghirardelli uh, brownie mix here, and use the perfect brownie pan, and attempt to make some uh, perfect brownies. Stay tuned. Okay, so we just mixed up our brownie mix. You're gonna mix that up just like you would any other brownie mix that you've made before. Uh, you pour it into the pan. Obviously, before you pour it in, you put the bottom, the removable bottom on the bottom. They recommend that you either line that with foil or you put it on top of a cookie sheet in case any of it leaks out. So we've obviously put it on top of this cookie sheet for now. Then you're gonna grab the divider. Now, all this stuff is non-stick, but if you wanna use some cooking spray just to you know, assist removing this when you're done, we just kinda of lined everything with a little bit of butter. Uh, so then you're going to place the divider down into the pan. So just like that, it, I mean, it sits in there pretty easily. And then as you can see, that's how it divides up the brownies. Um, and at that point, you're ready to go ahead and put this into the oven. So as per the cooking instructions on the brownies themselves, we have the oven set up properly. We're going to go ahead and place this into the oven. And we'll be back to give you our results. Okay, so our brownies just beeped, they're done. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out, show you how it looks. Uh, remember, we put this on top of this cookie tray in case there's any leakage. There doesn't appear to be any leakage, there's a little drip on it, but we actually dripped that when we were pouring the batter in. Uh, now, you're gonna wanna go ahead and actually let these cool for a little bit before you pull out that rack. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll show you how we pull the rack out and then set the uh, perfect brownie pan on top of that serving tray and how the brownies just kind of pop up so you can use that as a serving dish. Okay, so we've let them cool slightly and then at that point you can remove the divider. Uh, obviously we've let it cool so this is actually cool to the touch. One thing to note, before you actually remove the divider, you can take these, these are included, they're just decorative. And if you wanted to put some like confectionery sugar over the top and make little designs on the brownies, they have a couple nice designs. There's a star, a heart, a snowman, a snowflake, an American flag, an Easter egg, things like that. Uh, so you can actually design your own brownies and those fit nicely for this divider. Then when you want to remove the divider, it's pretty easy. Uh, it just kind of slides right out. This is nice, it's non-stick and everything included in the kit is uh, dishwasher safe, which makes it really nice. Uh, and so far it looks like they had a nice divide. We're gonna let them cool off just a little bit more and then after that point, we're gonna actually put them onto this cooling rack and when you put the pan onto it, it's going to serve as a uh, serving tray. So stay tuned and we'll show you that. So a nice part about this, uh, we wanted to just you know, kind of show you that the same rack that you use to use it as a serving tray, if you turn it upside down, you can actually use it as a cooling rack for the entire pan. So, uh, and if you wanted to hold it, you can actually put your thumbs on top of the pan. The brownies are still really hot, but the pan is cooled pretty nicely. And you can actually use that to move around. And it's nice it gets air to pass under the pan as well as over the pan. So once these things cool off, we're going to flip that upside down and show you how it works as a serving tray. So now everything's cool to the touch. Uh, we can actually just set this aside. Now I want to show you that cooling rack. You flip it upside down just like that. It has these little handles that it's going to sit on. And then you're going to put the brownie pan into it. And then uh, what happens is, when you, when you, when you got to line it up right, just like that. The pan drops below and on the top you have the brownies that sit out and then you can now just serve the brownies just out of the pan. So let's serve a couple of these, let you know how they taste. It's nice, they're not cut all the way through but they do break nice and evenly and easily. So there you can you know, kind of just get a good idea. I mean, this product is working beautifully. Star Views is going to give the product six out of six stars. 
Everything is dishwasher safe, which makes it easy and nice to clean up. It's non-stick. And if you're going to make brownies, there's no easier way to serve them. Everyone gets a nice piece of the outside with the divider sitting in the middle. You kind of get that nice texture for the outside of the brownie. And they cook pretty evenly, and you know, it's a perfect brownie.